Okay, we're going to be doing a trailing video with the uh, 4600 KV Sidewinder 3 setup in my uh, TRX4. It is a non-censored setup, so it doesn't have a lot of low speed, uh, like extremely low speed for crawlability, but it's great for trailing. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the trail we're going up is actually going to be going up at a very steep angle it's going to be a very tough hike for me i'll shoot as much video as i can but you guys are going to have to excuse my huffing and puffing i'm in my 40s and have asthma and i'm not in the best shape of my life so please bear with me Oh, and I am running right now in low range with the differentials open. I suspect I'm going to have to lock them very soon. Okay. To give you an idea, I have my drag brake set at 40% and it's still rolling. See that path is flat over there. So we are on a pretty steep incline already in just a few feet we've already climbed uh, about 20 feet so I'm thinking this is probably about a 45 40 degree incline on some of it and others is probably down around 20 degrees and it is just barely above freezing, so traction may become an issue. I'm trying a new set of Chinese bead locks and uh, Super Swamper tires. They are not, um, they're not a licensed reproduction, so they have Rocks tires spelt with an R or a Y on the sidewalls, along with Super Swamper. They are an imitation of a of a uh, locking rear dip now. They're imitation of a Super Swamper TSL. They are a little narrower and probably a sixteenth of an inch shorter than the stock TRX4 tires. They're still a 1.9 wheel. Uh, plastic bead lock. There is no weighting on the TRX4 um, other than the steel bumpers I fabricated for it and a uh, in the lighter Toyota uh, two-piece body shell and I'm picking up all kinds of sticks oh it's front front dip is locked not rear okay got all the sticks out and I'm gonna have to lock the rear diff here we go Okay, I see that trail or that road down there. That is the footpath we came in on. We are still very rapidly climbing. And this is not even anywhere near the worst of this trail. I've tried going up it on a uh, four wheel drive Honda Quad Runner and couldn't really get up some of this because of uh, the terrain is a little extreme for a quad runner laid up over the handlebars and it's still either spin or go over backwards so oh, we're finally almost to a flat spot now I apologize for the video quality I'm trying to drive with one hand and uh, hold the camera steady with the other while hiking up a trail that a 41 year old smoker should probably not 
be doing, especially considering I have asthma. Okay, now here comes a steep party. I'm surprised the TRX4 hasn't even hasn't even really had a challenge yet. These new tires are working well. Wondering how they'll do in mud. I know that they I try to run on the rocks that I shot my last video on. On rocks. These tires are not as good as the, so uh, the stock ones because the foams are not as soft as my stock foams were. But um uh, the uh oh what happened? Oh I just got hung up on a stick and it's still in the rear. Okay, hang on while we Oh, it's not just one stick. That one's wrapped clear around the axle. Yeah, this thing this is just tying sticks around itself and it's still easily navigating this train. This might not be the best motor for a crawler, but it does do great for trailing. One of these days I'm going to have to come up here with a rake and get all the little twigs out of the path. Yeah. This size of the stick it's got sticking through the front axle. And I am running a two or running 2S LiPo batteries uh, 25C Onyx uh, 4000 milliamp. So I'm not running a super powerful battery. Um, I'm gonna have to shut the video off for a minute. My phone is getting too cold. Um, uh, get up the trail a little bit and to some of the more interesting terrain and I'll get back with you guys. Okay. You can see, I know video makes everything look flat. You see the angles of the trees trail still dropping off really steeply you come to one of the spots that was very difficult to make it up with a quad runner I'm gonna do something I probably shouldn't and I'm going to get ahead of the TRX floor if it tumbles I can only hope it doesn't tumble far oh geez okay This is probably going to be a very difficult climb because of all the twigs being a little off camber. Oh, these new tires work great. That's weird. I'm miles from any roads that should be accessible and I keep hearing a vehicle. Love those portal axles. Just strap of that stick. <clears throat> Holy crap. <clears throat> I'm getting out of shape. Hey, <laughs> you can see my breath. 
It is below freezing up here. Love the wheel speed of the brushless setup. One thing that is helping me make it up this is I do have my TSM activated. Um, I was having a problem with the TSM turning the steering full lock to the right. Um, I called Traxxas about it and they told me that it was a receiver issue. And they sent me a new receiver, which I quickly swapped out, and it cured the problem. Gonna shout out to uh, our Radio Control Mafia on Facebook. Um, their uh, their founder Muggsy Hood is uh, gonna be sending me some RCM license plate scale license plates and a few other things to get this Toy RX4 project looking more scale. That right there is one of the reasons why I got rid of the Discovery body. So it's too tall to go under logs like that and I don't really find much point in carrying my trail truck. Now we've made it to the upper road on the top of the mountain. Gonna just be taking a different trail down. This area has been closed down to most vehicular traffic for a good 20 years or so we're up, actually up here along the Bohemia Mines uh, up above Dorena, Oregon beautiful area up here a lot of a lot of crawling in the riverbeds when it's uh, drier out this time of year there's a lot of mountain trails the stuff that lead up to old mining roads and stuff yeah it's scampered right over that My fingers are getting too cold to work the controls one-handed. Come on. I realize the way this thing just bashes through sticks is definitely not scale. I have a one-to-one -one Ford. F-250 on 35s and <laughs> it doesn't do this well off on this kind of stuff and I definitely don't have the horsepower to just plow through big crap like that Okay, we are going to be attempting 
pretty extreme downhill. <clears throat> I'm not even sure I'm going to make it down this without falling on my butt. Come on, back, back up. Just realized I should probably pull my connections out of my lipo battery so I don't ruin them if I fall on my butt and land on my batteries which are in my back pocket. Right there folks is one reason that metal bumpers suck oh that's gonna leave a mark I might need to get brass on my axles get more weight down low just shown that it will barely or it won't make it down that frontwards without tumbling still in low range You see the TSM. Well, I don't know if you guys can, but I... Oh crap. Oh, thank you. The TSM is really helpful in situations like this. Oh shit. Uh oh. <sighs> Come on. Okay. Yeah. Fish out some sticks here and do a quick inspection. I think we're good. Well, <laughs> mostly. Yeah. It's loosened up my front bumper's bolts a bit. Oh shit! <laughs> well, folks. Let's see if I can get where you guys can read that. Get the glare off of it. Closed to motor prepared propelled vehicles. Hmm. Looks like the Toy RX-4 has been breaking the law. I'm going to give you guys an idea of just how well this 4600 kV works on 2S. Just put a fresh battery in it on the path to getting back to where my car is. And... I'm going to punch it and see what happens.
And as you folks can see, yes, those are TRX4 black marks. You can actually, when in person, you can see the little voids in between the tires and the burnout marks. That is awesome.